Hi everybody, welcome to Carbon's DIY Garage. If you've been following the channel or if you're subscribed, hopefully, you know that I've been wrestling with water leaks inside this Jeep. I have replaced the uh, weather stripping between the windshield and the cowl. I've replaced the weather stripping between the hard top and the top of the windshield. I've replaced the weather stripping on both sides of the windshield frame. So all the weather stripping around the windshield has been replaced. I also have these half doors on both sides, the metal half doors, and the seals here are also really torn up and they're in bad shape. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and replace these seals today and uh, get these back in good shape. And hopefully with a combination of all the seal replacement, the next time we get the torrential rains here in Houston, it's gonna be nice and dry inside the Jeep. So let's go ahead and work on replacing the seals, the weather stripping on these uh, Jeep half doors. So the first step in being able to take the old seal off is you have to obviously take the top half of the door off, the window part just lifts out, and then you have to take these three um, holders for the top half. I need to take, take these out, I don't know what they're called exactly, but you do that by just turning it uh, counterclockwise if you're facing the way I am. Turn it counterclockwise and then just lift it out. And then all three of them come out just like that. And uh, I'm honestly not sure if they're all exactly the same length, they probably are, but um, I uh, go ahead and set them by the top half of the door with the location where they go back into, that way I put them back where I got them out from. There are push pins in the seal itself, uh, Christmas tree type push pins. One's up here on the top, one's up here on the top. There's also one, uh, I think it's on this side, on the seal going into the door behind the plastic trim, uh, but there's not one over on this side and you have to get all three of those out. Uh, you can take the whole trim panel off the door. I really don't want to do that because this thing is so old I'd touch as little as possible. Um, on this side, you can actually, at least on mine, you can pull the trim far enough away that you could just reach under and uh, pop, the, pop the, the Christmas tree thing right out like that, no problem. On this side, on my Jeep, uh, it has a trim push-in thing here. Uh, I don't know if that's stock or not. I don't know if there's supposed to be a screw here or not, but uh, I'll take this out. And then I can pull this far enough away to where I can get uh, access to the, the seal. And um, let's see, this one, uh, this one doesn't have that push pin, so I, I lied to you. This one, it just, um, it just sits there. It's held in place by uh, that little post that goes up here. So it's this side over here that has that extra push pin. It's uh, back behind this side of the panel. I could pull this back and probably get it free but uh, I don't want to put too much stress on this, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this screw, and it'll let me pull the door uh, far enough away that I can get that extra push pin out. And so I got that push pin out. Here it is, and here's the old seal, and you can see the... The hole right here where it goes into this does not come with the new seal so you either need to salvage the old one or have some extras laying around um, this one i could reuse but i do have some uh, laying around as well that i'll install but uh, so two push pins on the um, rear of the door and none on the seal up at the front of the door now that I've got the seal off, I've moved the door off the Jeep onto the hood because who doesn't use the hood of their Jeep as a workbench, right? Um, and I'm going to show you th pulling the rest of the seal off. I, I don't know if you can see over here on the edge of the camera, but the seal is uh, off to the side, the top of it, and it is just dripping water. So this thing has got to be full of water uh, because it's got so many leak points in it. But um, this seal is the factory seal, and it's actually a, a, gas, a rubber weather strip seal sitting inside a plastic uh, tray or a track. Uh, the replacement seal is all one piece, but assuming you have the factory one on here, you're gonna pull the seal off first. And then this plastic track is held in place with uh, some push pins, but also some um, adhesive tape. And this tape is going to be a nightmare to get off. But uh, let me get the seal off and then I'll show you the, what's underneath this plastic.
So this, this plastic track, as I'm pulling it off, uh, it's not only held in place by tape, but also some Christmas tree push-ins that you can just rip out when you pull the, the seal off. The new one has a whole bunch more push pins, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but you can utilize uh, some of them in these holes that are already in the door. And then after that, it's a choose your own adventure, but I'll describe that in a second. But as I pull this off, you can see the adhesive, uh, this high quality adhesive, and it leaves residue on the door, and you're gonna have to get this off. And I know from having already done the other door, this will take quite a while and a lot of effort to get off because it is just stuck on there. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this the rest of the way off and um, start working on getting this cleaned up. And I'll spare you probably the next 45 minutes of me trying to get this cleaned up the best I can. Well, I'm waiting for the goo gone to soak in and I can start the scraping and careful as best I can removal of the adhesive. Uh, try to avoid scraping the paint as much as possible. Although you can see uh, there's lots of scrapes on there already. Let me show you what I'm talking about with this new seal. So this is the new Fairchild aftermarket seal. And uh, it's part of a kit that I bought. You buy them individually. I bought it as a kit because it's cheaper. I did, I'm doing both sides. Um, and this one you can see has a whole lot of push pins all the way around. And that's how it is set up to hold uh, itself in place on the door. And I guess there are some half doors out there, maybe in future model years, that have all of these holes. But uh, these older doors do not have the holes. You can see there's two holes on this side and um, you know that hole, there's no hole for this one, there's a hole here, no hole for this one, etc. Um, so you can do one of two things. Some people are drilling additional holes in their doors. Other people are removing the push pins that don't line up with the holes. The nice thing is the ones uh, that are there do actually line up. So you can leave this one, it'll line up in this hole, um, remove this one, and then uh, this one will go into this hole and that'll work all the way around. Um, so what I'm actually gonna do, I don't like drilling as much uh, as I can avoid it. So I'm not gonna drill additional holes. I'm gonna remove the push pins that I don't need. And then um, what's gonna end up happening on the face that goes to the forward, so the front of the door, you can see there is a hole here and there's a hole here. And the old style, there was tape obviously holding it in place the whole way. There's no push pin here in the middle. So you could drill a hole, uh, that would work. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, some less stringent, not, not quite a strong adhesive tape and put it here on this side and then use that to hold the seal in place. Cause really uh, when the doors close, there's plenty of pressure to hold the seal in place. You, it's really just to keep it from flopping off. And what I discovered when I did the other side is that if you leave nothing here, it just kind of flops loose and you run the risk of it uh, getting bunched up or torn. So I'm gonna put some adhesive tape here, some 3M automotive tape, and uh, otherwise just uh, pull out the push, push pin. So let me show you how to do that. So they're really easy to get out. Just grab them with a pair of needle nose pliers and uh, pull them away from the, the hole that they're in and just pull it out. And you can see that it's got like just a T at the bottom that holds them in place. So they're really designed to be replaceable. And you actually get a couple of extra ones with the kit when you buy it. Um, so now this one's removed. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just work my way around the door and remove the, uh, the Christmas tree push pin things uh, that I don't need because they don't line up with holes. After about 45 minutes, uh, this is where I'm gonna call it. Uh, I've got most of the high stuff off and uh, you can see that I've, uh, much as I tried not to, did scrape up the bottom of the door here uh, a good amount. Uh, I really don't want to just take it down to the bare metal, but uh, I really don't plan on repainting it anytime soon. So we're just going to call it here. The nice thing about the replacement seal is that it is all one solid piece. So um, it should be able to press up against the door, fill in any of these uneven spots and still provide a good seal. Um, but we're going to go ahead and uh, get the new seal installed. With the door back on the Jeep, I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, rear of the door, put this top push pin of the seal uh, into its hole, and then uh, just start working my way around pushing these into uh, the holes that they go into in the door. And uh, they do take, make sure you give them a good snug push so that they're firmly seated. You should feel them clip into place. 
And then once you get those pushed up in there, just give them a little tug and make sure that they're not going to come right back out. That way you know you've got them in there tightly. On this side, don't forget you've got that extra push pin that goes inside the door panel. Put that back in place. Hold that seal in a good place. Um, got it wrapped all the way around, and now I'll go ahead and put these uh, three posts back in place. So for this one, you want to make sure that the seal is uh, underneath the plastic door panel. Make sure that it's lined up with the hole and it's flat, flush up against the door frame before you put this in. So remember, uh, when you put it in, you put it in 90 degrees out from where you want it, press it down, and then give it that 90 degree turn, and that'll lock it in place. Uh, and again, for this one, make sure that the seal is where you want it to be. Obviously, if you took the door panel off, you want to put the door panel back on before you put these uh, three posts uh, in place. But put your door panel on, put the posts in, put the screws back in that you may or may not have removed. Uh, the doors put back together then uh, i'm just going to shut it leave it shut for a while and that'll let the double stick tape uh, really set in place to hold the front of the seal but that's it that's all there is to it by far the hardest part is uh getting that adhesive off uh, so that you can get a good surface the best you can for that new seal